Ragbeard Assange almost never made it to Canada. And he got stopped by immigration in Toronto saying, well, you're coming to Canada and you only have $5 in your wallet and they were gonna look over his case and maybe send him back. His face had the kind of depressed look that only comes when the future of your young family in India is in the hands of immigration officials. It's a good thing too, because two people he'd never met before asked him what was wrong. Just imagine 1970, these couple took out $100 each from their wallet and gave it to him. Dessange became a Canadian on Remembrance Day, 1970. He worked for years in a lumber mill, saving enough money to move his family to Abbotsford. All six of us were living, were in one room on a farm. Imagine six people with all their belongings in one room. So we worked really hard. Dad was a hard worker. You can tell a Canadian when he's in a suit and tie and on a bike. <laughs> He'd work weekdays at the mill, toil the berry fields alongside his children on his days off, passing along his strong work ethic, saving his money, always strict with his children as he built a good life for them. And then the grandkids showed up. When I tell the kids how strict he was, when we were growing, really? That was Grandpa? <laughs> After decades of hard work, Dessange retired and finally relaxed. Spending time with his grandkids, you know, going to the temple, going to the community, seeing his old friends, walking, exercising. But in January, Dessange had a stroke. Months later, the rehab center where he was working on his recovery had a COVID-19 outbreak, which the family learned about on the news. Rav brought his dad home, then he got sick and was hospitalized. Then Rav got a call the next day saying his dad tested positive. They were gonna put him in ICU and give him oxygen. Everything happened so quickly that same night we get a call saying, we don't let anybody in the hospital, but you guys can come and say your final goodbyes. Mm -hmm. Dessange died April 17th, he was 86. Just before he got sick, Ronnie's family visited him for his birthday. Her son took this picture. That look on his face is how they remember him. Proud of the family he worked so hard to provide for and grateful for the joy they brought him in return. Jesse Johnston, CBC News, Abbotsford.